Mornington Rebellion. <laughs> fellow rebels, fellow earth protectors, fellow fractivists, fellow BBC friends, fellow police, we assemble here today in rebellion to mourn, to invoke, and to act. Why are we mourning? We see in front of us today 27 symbolic bodies representing the families that were found gathered in a circle in a dead end in the village of Mati this summer in the Greek wildfires. Victims of climate change. We, want, we come here to mourn the 200 people burned to death in wildfires in Greece and California. We come here to mourn the 315,000 people the United Nations say have died this year and every year for the last five years from droughts, from fires, from disease, from floods across the planet, from the impacts of the climate emergency. We are also mourning the vast numbers of insects, animals, plants, vertebrates and, 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 and amphibians that have been burned to death and drowned in those terrible natural catastrophes. We mourn what's happening to nature and the 60% we've destroyed in my lifetime. And I'd like a 30 second silence for the victims of Mati. Thank you. But we're not here to just mourn. We're here to invoke. We're here to invoke the BBC to step up to its public service duty and act as they did in the Second World War, as a public service, service to send out the information and calls to the people of Britain and across the planet to use the immense resources of the BBC to enable humanity to rise up and change our behaviour, to cut our carbon emissions to zero, as the Extinction Rebellion says, by 2025. We invoke the BBC. What must the BBC do? Say after me. The BBC must change. The BBC must change. The BBC must change. The BBC must change. Last time and louder, BBC must change. The BBC must change. And it's not just the BBC. Extinction Rebellion here are invoking and calling to all the media present, to all the media around Britain, all the media around the world. We need you. Extinction Rebellion summons you, invokes you to stand with us, rebel. Tell the people of the world to rebel against the fossil fuel empire, destroying nature and destroying humanity. A call must come out today from here, the headquarters of the BBC, to the heads of the maybe heads of the media across the world. Sixty men and maybe two women. You have immense power to summon and invoke humanity, and we call you today to do so. Why 
blue stars in the first call is at the BBC. Because the BBC is our BBC. Whose BBC is it? Whose BBC? BBC? So what is the case against the BBC? For years they have ignored and downplayed the crisis. The recent analysis of the budget was silent. The BBC's analysis of the budget, which had nothing on climate, was silent. There's a story on the BBC News this week that was excitedly talking about the doubling of airports in China with no mention of the horrific climate price it would pay. There was a story about the three BBC three counties where the presenter was delighted at the heat this year in Britain from the climate crisis. The BBC is pumping out social permission for driving with Top Gear, is promoting drive time. So finally, we're here for action. The third word is action. Non-violent, peaceful, direct action. Peaceful disruption. Why? Because the complacency of the BBC and in the country and the government and business of people has to be moved. And that's why I'm here. The final reason we're here for is action. Action from the BBC on divestment. It's horrific that they have £18 million invested in the fracking bank Barclays. They have £28 million, 28 million invested in BP. Agree, shame on you. So finally, I will ask you, the BBC must change. What must the BBC do? What must the BBC do? Finally, what must the BBC do? Yeah.